What's up guys, those baits were Depths 250 slide swimmers as most of you know. They weigh in around 6.5 ounces, they're 10 inches long, and they're what most people consider across the country true big baits. I'm going to go over the two rods that I use most to throw those baits and really anything in the 4 ounce to 7 ounce range with treble hooks. Here we go. Sapphire. Now I've got two rods I use and both are specific to the situation I'm in. One is the Dobbins 867 and the other one is the Lowdown Customs production model extra heavy. I'm going to start with the Dobbins 867. What that is, it's an 8 foot 6 inch 7 power rod. They rate it at 4 to 16 ounces but I think anyone that's used that rod can tell you that that 16 ounce mark is severely overrated. The sweet spot on the Dobbins is, is really more like four to around seven, give or take, maybe eight. It can throw heavier baits if you need it to in a pinch, but it definitely wouldn't be my go-to rod for that. The good thing about the 867 though, it's a pretty versatile rod. I've used it all the way down to three and a half ounce baits and it worked great. It's got a super sensitive tip, it's really parabolic, great all around rod. Now they list it as a mag heavy with a fast tip. That fast tip gives you that good sensitivity, that heavy power gives you the ability to huck big baits and get a fish in the boat easily but it's still a really parabolic rod meaning it bends really far down into the blank good for two reasons one when you're loading that big bait up on the cast the rod bends really nicely loads up real evenly and you're able to fling that depth or that heavy bait out into open water super easy two that parabolic bend again bends down into the blank and with treble hooks, especially on a big glide bait, when that fish is shaking its head, trying to spit that bait, that parabolic action is gonna keep that bait pinned to the mouth and you're gonna get that fish in the boat. Now the Dobbins comes with a full grip, 16 inch. To be honest, it's a little skinny diameter wise for my liking, but I've gotten used to it and it's still, it's super comfortable to fish with. The Dobbins retails for around 289 on Tackle Warehouse. Now you can go on Swimbait Underground in the black market and when they do pop up, you can find them for cheaper. Not everybody can afford a super high-end rod for their first Swimbait rod. So in a second, I'm gonna go over some cheaper alternatives if you're looking to get into a big bait rod, but you don't necessarily have almost $300 to spend. On to number two. Now, ranking wise, I don't like the 867 more than the Lowdown Customs for any particular reason. I use them both for very specific situations. Now, the Lowdown is super versatile. Also, it's my go to rod for heavy cover for anything really from three ounce to eight ounce treble hook baits. A lot of times that's close quarter fishing and the low down is eight foot so it's a little shorter. It's easier to get in and out of things. I can I can almost flip and pitch that depth with the low down a little easier. And the low down has a really stout backbone to it but still has a good parabolic bend. When you load the cast up on the LDC versus the Dobbins you can definitely feel the difference in the backbone. I would say the low down loads about just over a quarter, maybe close to halfway into the blank, while the Dobbins loads all the way down into the blank when you're casting a big bait like a Depths. But that stout backbone helps you horse that fish in if you need to, out from under a dock or around boats, or if that fish makes a run back down into the grass and you've got a depth stuck to its face, you can't afford to lose not only that expensive bait down in that grass, but you don't wanna lose that fish either. So you can turn the head, get it moving, get that fish coming to you and get it in the boat. The LDC newer productions come with a full grip with X flocking on it. It's, uh, I think they're 16 inch also. I actually sent mine back to Ben at Lowdown and he was amazing, nice enough to cut down the grip for me a little bit. And now I absolutely love that Lowdown Customs. It is my everyday close quarter, heavy cover, go-to rod for anything in the three to, ounce, three to eight ounce treble hook category. All the production lowdowns come with spiral wrapped guides. That means they spiral around the blank towards the crank side of the blank. Now, I don't know all the ins and outs of spiral wrapping 
what the physics are, if I've heard a million different reasons why they do it. I will say though, horsing a fish in, not only because of the, the stiffer backbone in the lowdown, but I think because of the spiral wrap as well, it definitely feels different pulling a fish in on that low down it's almost effortless versus the dobbins where it's really limber and it does have a lot of parabolic bend to it and you can definitely feel that fish kind of moving around and, and shaking its head a lot more so spiral wrap or not spiral wrap that's a whole nother vid video i won't get into right now because i honestly i don't really understand it that well so now the ldc the white labels they pr they retail for 299 on lowdown customs website when they're in stock um, i don't know the current price of the production extra heavies you could probably more than likely guarantee that you're going to be spending around $300 for a Lowdown Customs. Now what I did, I didn't order directly from Ben. There is a wait time through Lowdown Customs, uh, except on the white labels. When they have those in stock, those ship automatically. But if you order a production extra heavy, you get choices with it. So you can pick choice of trim color and stuff like that. And that takes time. Dealing with Ben directly through Instagram, direct message has been amazing his customer service is next to none now some people have complained about the weight with lowdown you've got to understand it's a one-man show they're doing custom rods production rods and the white label rods all of that takes time when you get it you will be more than happy i can't say enough about their rods it's almost effortless real and efficient if you're on a limited budget and you don't have a whole bunch of money to spend, I'm gonna go over a couple options for you that could handle the four to eight ounce range from what I've heard pretty effortlessly. Chose three rods that I think would be a good fit for a Depths 250 or any treble hook bait in that weight range of four to eight ounces. So here we go. In no specific order, I'm gonna start with number one, the Akuma Guide Select A-Series rod, and I'll pop it up right here. And my quick experience with it, that for $124.99, this feels like a $200 rod. It felt like it was made really well. The grip, albeit split, was super comfortable. Immediately holding that Akuma felt really natural. It handled the baits I was throwing really well. Had a really good bend to it. All in all, really nice rod. You're going to want to go with the extra, extra heavy from what I've read. And that says it handles 5 to 14 ounce baits. But again, like with the Dobbins, their 16 ounce rating is kind of through the roof. And your sweet spot is probably gonna be much lower than that. So you don't overload or overstress that rod day in and day out. Number two, Daiwa DX Extra Extra Heavy. Now this rod comes with a full grip, which a lot of guys might like a little bit more for you know, big baits. And it handles from what they say, four ounces to 15 ounces. The Daiwa DX retails for around $109.95 from Tackle Warehouse, and that's a pretty killer deal. Can't really find a $100 rod that will handle these big baits anymore unless it's used. Now, number three is the iRod Jumbo Swim. Now, the iRods are designed by Matt Newman, who is, as most of you probably know, a pretty renowned swim bait angler from California. I'm sure that he's put a lot of work into them has made a really great all-around swim bait rod for a pretty cheap price point. The iRods retail for around $149.99 from Tackle Warehouse. It comes with a split grip. The iRod comes in at seven foot nine inches. They say it handles eight to 12 ounce baits. And it's got an 18 inch handle on it. Now with everything fishing related, this is all subjective. This is all personal preference, what I like, you may not like, and that's totally fine. This wasn't meant to be a super in-depth video or a dissection of any of the rods listed. This is merely a answer to a question that I get quite a bit for guys that start off with smaller baits and they've got a rod that handled these smaller, you know, two to five ounce baits pretty well, but then they try to throw a Depths 250 on it, which is six and a half ounces. The rod feels completely underpowered and they're they don't really know what to buy so with that i thought i'd just give a quick overview of some good rods to buy from my two favorites to three cheaper alternatives now i'm going to put all the links below on where you can pick these rods up and make sure to leave a comment below and let me know what you guys use to throw baits in the four to eight ounce range and if there's anything swim bait chronicles can do for you if there's a video you guys want to see if there's a topic or a bait that you guys would like me to cover leave it down below 
and I'll make sure to get to it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. As I always say, swim baits for the everyday angler. I'm out here trying to show you how to integrate big baits into your everyday arsenal. If you like what you see, go ahead and click the subscribe button below. Share this video with your friends on Facebook or Instagram and stay tuned for weekly uploads on all things swim bait related. Thanks guys for watching. Stay safe out there. Tight lines. Sapphire.